so up to this we are not at all considering any ranking so consider two systems a and b so let's say a is retrieving this set of documents b is retrieving this set of documents okay now you can see the retrieval model a is actually retrieving non relevant documents at the top and still if we measured precision recall or eps score you will be finding that uh, the precision recall and eps score for both the uh, retrieval models both the systems will be same because precision and recall and eps measured we are not actually considering any ranking so they will be same but should their performance be same no you can understand that we should be giving i mean we should be saying that b is better than a so the first measure for uh, i mean which considers this rank retrieval is called precision at rank k here k is basically a parameter measures the precision up to that rank so it can be precision at 10 so we will be measuring the will be considering the rank list up to rank 10 so that is up to the 10 documents retrieved how many relevant documents are retrieved how precise the system is up to the top 10 uh, retrieved documents okay so this is actually very much applicable for web search i hope you can understand the reason because we know i mean it, it is usually the case that we only see the top set of five documents and after that we i mean start searching for something else so usually p at 5 is a very traditional evaluation measure p at 5 means we will be considering the top five documents retrieved by the system and we will be measuring the precision how precise the uh, system is performing in order to uh, uh, retrieve this the retrieve the relevant documents in the top five rank but note that it is actually in this case precision at five or any precision at k we are considering k as fixed for all the queries let's consider the scenario like this where there are eight relevant documents present in the system now if there is n relevant system uh, a, 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 n relevant document present in the system if we measure p at 5 we are only considering up to this isn't it this is not actually fair because already the system the the, the uh, corpus is containing more than k number of or more than five number of relevant documents so that's why another measure is there using which we can actually address this is basically called R precision. So in the R precision, what we do is we uh, for a query with a known R number of relevant document, we R precision is basically the precision up to rank R. So basically, so so in the earlier case as there are eight relevant documents we will be basically considering i mean r precision basically will be considering uh, uh, we will be basically considering as the number of relevant number of rel docs for the system was eight well, in the in the corpus was eight so we will be basically considering p at eight if for another query, this is for say Q, if for say another query Q prime, there are say 32 number of relevant documents. In that case, we'll be measuring P at 32. Now this thing can vary. Earlier it was only P at 5 or something like that. Here we can generally write P at R, where R is equals to the number of real docs. And this can actually vary for different queries. Different for different query, the, the value of R will be different. Uh, this is actually 
uh, a measurement of idealness of the system how ideal the system is an ideal system as we have discussed if there are odd number of relevant documents p at r for an r ideal system will be what can someone say for an ideal system the precision at r containing r number of relevant documents will be one isn't it all right so <clears throat> still we need something better so let's consider another scenario this scenario system a system b system a is containing i mean system a is retrieving two relevant documents at the fourth and fifth plant and b is retrieving the two relevant documents at, at at the first and second rank if we consider p at 5 they are basically the same isn't it for both of them precision at rank 5 are the same now what we'll be doing is we'll be basically computing the their average precision particularly we'll be computing a non interpolated average precision now let's consider the scenario that for a given query q there are number of relevant documents is 5 okay now let's say our, uh, the system is retrieving three out of those five relevant documents at this position one position three and position six and the rest of the two relevant documents are actually retrieved at infinite position that is they are not actually retrieving it these two relevant document the system is unable to fetch or unable to retrieve so we are considering that they are retrieved at the infinite position. So in this non-interpolated average position, what we will be doing is at each position at which the relevant documents are retrieved, we will be measuring the precision at that point. Okay. So in this position, the precision is 1. So basically, one out of one documents are retrieved which is basically one document is retrieved and out of them one is re relevant here it is basically two by three so basically precision here will be 0.5 isn't it two documents retrieved one is relevant here it is three by uh, two by three which is 0.67 here it is basically two by four again it is 0.5 in, in in up to this rank so up to fourth rank the system retrieved two relevant documents and two non-relevant documents. That means the precision will be 0.5. But the fifth location, again, it will be basically 2 by 5. It will be again falling. The sixth location, it is again 3 by 5. Uh, six, sorry, 3 by 6. Because out of six documents, it, it has retrieved three of them were relevant. 1, 2, 3. So it is 3 by 6, basically 0.5. And the rest of the two relevant documents, the system were unable to retrieve so they were considered to be retrieved at infinite location so uh, basically it will be considered as zero so something i mean, I mean something say x by uh, or, or not x it will be basically 4 by infinity which is basically zero and this is basically 5 by infinity now what we will be doing is we will be basically averaging them so what we are doing again we are computing their computing the precision at each recall point particularly we are considering the recall uh, the points where the recall is changing note that here the recall earlier i mean when we haven't retrieved anything what is the recall recall is point zero zero system is also zero zero now in the first location the recall is changing Recall has changed. So it is 0 0.2. So that's why we are computing the precision. So 1. Then here again, the recall is same. Here the recall has changed. So we'll be considering its uh, 
precision at that point. Then again, recall has remained the same. Then here, recall has again changed. So changed. So we'll be considering this. And finally, we'll be basically averaging them. So <clears throat> this is called average precision or non-interpolated average precision or in short is called AP. Here as five relevant documents were present, two of them were not retrieved at all because uh, and that's why we are considering it to be retrieved at infinite, infinite location. Now mathematically the formula to compute the average precision is something like this. Here n rel is basically the number of relevant dots here earlier I have so earlier we were actually computing this then as there are five relevant documents so we are averaging it over five now note that there are three components but averaging over five because the other two components that we are not writing here is basically zero zero for the other two relevant documents where this recall is changing so in general, basically, we'll be considering the number of relevant documents in the system in, in the, 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 that are there in the corpus and summation over all the DIs, the location, or that number, not actually the location. So that number of uh, document divided by the rank of that document. So the first, for the first document, it will be basically, you can understand it will be one by the location of the first retrieved document. Then it will be two by the location of the second retrieved document and so on. Okay. This is actually the groundwork for mean average precision or map. So mean average precision is basically the mean of average precision. So mean of AP. So we have following this, following this discussion, we can actually compute the average precision for this query, say Q1, Q2, Q3. Let's say there are in the system, there are three queries submitted for the query one. There are there are four relevant documents. Query two, there are three relevant documents, and for query three, there are uh, seven relevant documents. So for them, if we compute like this, following this, the average precision that we'll be getting. Is basically for the first query it will be 0.76, for the second query it will be this, for the third query it will be this. And just a simple average of these three APs will be basically the mean average precision, which is the most uh, used retrieval, uh, most used uh, evaluation metrics in information retrieval. So again, average precision, which is uh, basically the, the ground of computing the mean average precision, where what we are doing is we are basically mixing between precision and recall. But unlike the F score, where we are not considering the uh, the rank at all, here we are considering the rank as well. Now MAP focuses highly on the on finding relevant documents at the top position, as well as as much as possible. Uh, and MAP is the, actually, as I was saying, it is actually the most uh, used IR virtual system evaluation matrix. Uh, 